Amme. Amma. Ah. Ah. Ooh, girl, you shine like a fifth avenue diamond. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a vlog and this is a new series that I want to start on my channel called Get Your Life Together series. So I think I'm going to do it in like a series form because there's so many things that I need to uh, you know do to get my life back on track. I've been getting so many requests to vlog more and post more vlogs. So this is actually a very spontaneous video like I hadn't even planned on uh, shooting something like this in my entire January schedule but I thought you know let's just pick up the camera be more spontaneous uh, as you guys can see i'm in my apartment my parents just dropped me off and my apartment is again in a mess from the last time i posted like a clean with me video which i will link up here in case you haven't seen it so it's already very messed up because i went to udupi in between i went to kerala in between so all my luggage everything is just all over the place anyways for today's video i'm going to focus on like cleaning and doing laundry and also i'm going to share my grocery haul because i just came back with my parents after going crazy in spar hypermarket so yeah i have a lot of things to share with you guys uh, so so let's do a grocery haul first so okay there are a lot of things so i'm going to go as quick as possibly with it so let's start with what i can find here so this is like a six set slate that i got there was actually a lot of sale going on spar and this is actually for 500 bucks but i got it for 200 if i'm not wrong this is also microwaveable and freezer safe then i got a bottle it's not a surprise i love buying bottles and buying cute bottles but surprisingly i was actually out of bottles like the one i used to use it was just not very usable so i just had to get a new one so i just got this cute uh, stainless steel one from spar the brand is also spar this retails for 300 but i got it for 200 it looks very small and compact it actually fits 500 ml of water so i'm very happy with the size and also uh, how much water it can carry and if you watch my previous video you guys will know that one of my tips was to get a portable cute looking bottle and I just took my own advice. So I have this new bottle which I'm very excited to use. Then I got this non-stick uh, spatula. I actually have been looking for a non-stick spatula for such a long time. It sounds like such a generic thing that you would find anywhere but that's not the case. I went to like at home, home center, so many places and they had humongous spatulas which were non-stick but they didn't have normal sized ones. Uh, they had I think normal sized ones uh, which came in sets and I didn't really require it. So it was, it just seemed like a waste of money to me. But thankfully in spa they had like a medium sized non-stick spatula which didn't come in a set. I think it was for like 200 or something uh, and it's very very good quality. So I, I'm very very happy that I got this finally. Okay everything is in a very random order so please accept excuse me uh, next I got is hide and seek nothing special I'm a huge fan of hide and seek then I got this I know it's actually meant for kids but I love cute pink things so I just got really needed like a scotch tape the dispenser so I got the pink one next I got Ashirwad Atta then I got brown sugar so I've recently shifted to brown sugar it actually tastes better than refined white sugar doesn't mean obviously that I can have how much ever brown sugar I want you still have to be as careful but at least it retains some amount of nutrients as opposed to white sugar then I have my favorite penne whole wheat pasta this is by Del Monte that's my favorite brand then I got Easter coconut chutney powder I am actually very excited to try this I remember having coconut chutney powder long back in some restaurant or at someone's house and I loved it so much but I never had any idea that they actually have it in the market like it's stupid I, I guess I should have expected it but normally I have like the red gun powder which into which you have to either add ghee or oil and then I have it with dosa or idli but this just seems a way healthier because you don't have to add any oil to it so I'm actually gonna give this a try try and let you guys know how it is then I got my favorite uh, jalapenos these are sliced jalapenos by the brand Neo uh, it's I think one of the most affordable brands for jalapenos and olives etc then I got brown bread I got apple cider vinegar I'm gonna start using this because I know it's very good for your health I've also heard it's very good for acne and I'm actually breaking out a lot on my cheek which never ever happened before so let me know if you guys have any suggestions for acne or you know what to do with apple cider vinegar then I have some bowling groceries so these are just some green chilies and cucumbers then I got some apples this is kino which looks like orange I didn't even know what kino was I, I literally grabbed it thinking it's orange and my dad was like do you even like kino and I was like yeah of course <laughs> like I don't even know what it is I hope it tastes good doesn't this look like an orange I hope it tastes as good as an orange onion garlic all of that some tomatoes and curry patta 
potatoes. I actually even got some frozen stuff which I just kept in the fridge but since I suddenly decided to make this video I'm gonna grab it from the fridge and show it to you guys. So from the fridge freshly I got jackfruit. I love jackfruit. Any Malayalis out there you know what this means to us. Then I got like 3-4 packets of the Nandini Good Life. I think this is slim. Yeah it's skimmed milk. Then I got Nandini curd. Then I got my favorite and my life savior ID Italy dosa batter. Coming to non-veg I got this sausage Zorabian. I've never tried it. Uh, this is their chicken spicy sausages. Then I got some chicken boneless breast pieces and yeah with that we are done with like the groceries part but there's one huge thing right here which I have to make space to show you guys so let me just quickly do that. Next thing is this huge box which I'll open. This is a spin mark. I think I've been so lazy when it comes to you know jhadu pocha of my house. Jhadu I will still do but mopping the house was just a huge task for me because I actually just had a cloth. It's very inconvenient with the cloth like you have to be on your, all your force to clean it properly. You can even probably use a stick. I have tried using a stick mop but that seemed like a very dirty task you know when I had to wring out the water. Icky task. I preferred the cloth over that stick mop but my mom has magic mop in her house and she was just like you know this is just going to be more convenient. So for any of you who don't know what a magic mop or this one this particular one is by the brand Milton image shows you better right for anyone who doesn't know this is the bucket there's a spinner right here so you put water here the cutest thing about this is that they actually have like a liquid dispenser here very cute portable liquid dispenser in which I can you know put Lysol or whatever and I can just spritz it into the water which will be in this compartment and then I just take this stick attach it attach it to the mop which is here and just put dip it here and then uh, dry it off here and then just mop it if you don't have a maid and you have to do all this on your own this is a very convenient option the best part guys this thing here is actually 1650 but spar had a discount and i got it for rupees 6.99 pretty good deal i'm very very excited to mop my house like i think i'm gonna keep my house clean all the time just because i have this so yeah that was it like that's the entire haul i hope that wasn't boring so right now it's 5:20. i'm gonna quickly finish uh, washing some clothes i'm gonna put it in my washing machine uh, start the cycle and then simultaneously i will be you know arranging all of this back into the pantry or wherever they belong so yeah, let's get to all these groceries and these things and put it, even my kitchen, like you guys can see, everything is just randomly put. So I'm going to quickly go and organize all of this. But before I can start arranging my groceries and putting it where they belong, I have to clean out my fridge. Yeah, you guys can see like the fridge is just dumped with a lot of things and nothing is arranged. Everything is just randomly dumped. It also has to be cleaned. So please excuse this dirty fridge. Take all of it onto the kitchen counter. Actually, I just decided that I will deep clean my fridge because it's so dirty. Like, I can't imagine putting all this back into that dirty fridge. So, I'm actually gonna clean it properly and then arrange all of this. And then arrange all of this in my fridge. So you guys just saw me deep clean my fridge. It's not completely done. I still have the last vegetable tray which I have to uh, wash in the sink because it's really dirty. And I've cleaned the fridge. Oh my god. I really wish I would have done this months, months, months ago. Already put few things. This is my freezer. So I've just put all frozen stuff there. And then my chiller tray has all milk, curd, cheese, butter, stuff like that. Then I have my jackfruit. All these compartments and my vegetable tray. Oh my god. 
this is such a relief guys i've already put like all the sauces and like pickles and stuff here i'm going to keep my other bottles here as well here i have my energy bars and chocolate and mint i actually put this basket here because all these masalas and like sachets were just loosely kept here and it kept falling off so i just thought you know let's just add a basket and make it more organized quickly arrange all of this in here so let's do that and that's how it looks now. I just put my fruits here and I have all my vegetables in this tray organized. And here I have all my snacks. I actually took this basket and put all like the loose snacks, uh, peanut butter, like basically the snacks. And here I'm going to have all my leftovers and stuff. So I have milk and curd. I'm just very happy with how clean and neat this is. Now I have the rest of the haul stuff to figure out, but I'm making progress. So I'm happy. Okay guys, so that was a very very tiring couple of hours like my back is actually paining because I was bending and cleaning the entire kitchen, cleaning the fridge, uh, organizing the shelves, organizing the pantry and throwing out expired stuff like there was just so much to do. I suggest you guys do this before a new year begins because then you know it's like an actual fresh start i really regret not doing it in 2018 but you know that's okay like i did it in the beginning of the year and i'm feeling so much uh, more decluttered in my head and i think already i've shot a lot in this video and i don't want to bore you guys more give this video a big big thumbs up if you enjoy such videos let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell that way you'll get notified whenever i upload a new video which is every wednesday and saturday there'll be many more episodes episodes coming for sure because I have so many different parts of the house different things to be done so that you know I feel more in control of my life so yeah I will see you guys next time till then stay happy positive and blessed bye